谢谢主持人。OK， 各位好。首先，嗯，先说，我本身是想成为一位音乐家，我没有想要变成一位执行师的，那个是纯粹是意外。OK， 所以木头跟音乐的关系是什么呢？小提琴，我们在很多的方面。流行乐、古典乐，任何的乐器，其实小提琴都扮演着一个非常重要的角色。然后，首先概念，小提琴是什么？对我来说，它只是它是一个乐器，它是一个我的手延伸出去的一个东西，让我把我的情感表达出来，传出去给别人。它也可以是一个艺术品。如果我是以一个工匠去挑刻一样东西出来的话，基本上它可以当成是一个艺术品，我一个。人家说是一个家私，放在家可以摆，可以来看。OK， 接下来我要说的东西是我在工作的时候所遇到的问题。我学了一个这样的知识，我回到来马来西亚，我想我说的就是，我应该要继续自勤吗？还是我要去做一些服务的东西？因为他除了自勤，我们可以称为修复，我们可以做那个维修 service 之类的东西。基本上。我到现在是没有太大的理想，很多人会问我，你的工作还有你的那个音乐音乐家来到来找你，根本没时间让你继续做琴，根本没有时间把你想要的东西放进你想要的制作品上。确实是，因为我真的没有太大的理想，因为我不需要选择，我要把现把我现在的工作继续维持呢，还是我要放弃现在的东西回去？自琴，还有玩我的音乐，所以我把他做了一个总结，他叫职业。除了职业，我们除了是理想之外，我必须要做一个就是责任。人家找不管是学生琴，还是专业的琴，还是入门根本不会的人，他们来找到我，我要做的就是把这个东西知识我会的传达出去。所以。职业不管是什么人，我都必须要尽责任，还有负责任。所以第一个问题就是我要如何满足的乐手。我就发现到 ，OK， 除了自琴之外，琴一个作品我已经做了出来，然后如何让它发生呢？如何在那个设计上让它更美观呢？其实我最后的发现到，他们其实不是要求到那个声音的感觉一样，他们而是要要求到那个值，就是。我们最基本、基本的概念的那个值，我们没有，所以用心聆听很重要。我必须做到这一点，为什么呢？因为如果我做不到这一点，我感动不到那个乐手，我感动不到乐手，乐手就拉不到好的乐器，也拉不到好的乐器，他传不到那个声音，他要表达的东西给不到观众。所以怎么办？我们就需要聆听，然后要去感动。当然，我很谢谢我这一辈子走过来，这十年我音乐课，我还是去上，继续有上课。然后我有去跟很多不同的乐手，然后来交流。所以很多时候就要谢谢他们给我们的反应。然后很多时候要谢谢观众，因为我们在台上表演的时候，那个音乐。还有那个声音 ，acoustic， 可不可以给到观众一个共鸣？除了那个音乐好听之外，就是那个值，声音的值有没有？这是我们接下来的十年、二十年我要做的，就是如何的教孩子，如何的教小学生或者刚刚拿上乐器的小孩子，去怎么去感受这个声音？因为当他感受得到这个声音的时候，他可以听到很细的时候。他的语言上，他的视觉上，或者是他处理事情上，我相信应该都看得比较阔，听得比较远。所以，放慢脚步是我现在想学习的东西。因为我本身是一个不是太能做的、很稳定的小孩子，我从小就开始学音乐，但是我学了大概一两年吧，我忘了学钢琴。然后我就不要学了，为什么呢？因为我妈说我做不了，做不定，然后我也做不定。然后过了大概不到三年吧，还是四年级还是五年级，我又去学了 organ， 然后又是学了个两年，又停。为什么？又是因为那个做不定，不爱念琴。
不爱练琴，然后到中学我去学吉他，还是同样的问题。但是吉他为什么可以学的长时间一点呢？因为我可以抱着那个吉他在那个床上那边弹，我根本不用花时，不用坐在那边练。但是我发现到，我能到了三十岁，我就是少了一样东西，就是成没有好好的慢慢的走，慢慢的听。好，今天谢谢大家在那边聆听我说的东西，然后感觉感受。慢慢的走，总有一天一定会到你要想到的地方。谢谢，我是我。Good evening, everyone. My name is Yabi, and I and I'm the host for tonight's program. I hope everyone is fine and safe. Avoid going out or roaming around. Always remember to wash your hands and avoid touching your face. Most importantly, stay at home. These broadcasts are brought to you by our fellow JPO members and some of the world's greatest musicians, that wish us to share their knowledge and help aspiring musicians through their musical journey. We are also providing opportunities for everyone with different interests to learn not performance but transferable life skills. We are doing this series of program because JPO think this will be able to help in uplifting the spirit of everyone in this long period of lockdown. So, if you have any questions to ask, please type them in the Q and A below. JPO are indeed very honored to be able to invite Onket Wee as our special guest for tonight with his topic, from musician to luthier. Onket Wee, who trained as a jazz guitarist under Juan Pablo. At UCSI University Malaysia, and as a double bassist under Fu Yin Hong and Joseph Presser of the Malaysian Philharmonic Orchestra, he is a 30-year-old native of Ipoh. stands out for having learned a 500-year-old craft that is steeped in musical tradition. It is not a craft that one from Malaysia has easy access to. It takes uprooting oneself to study either. As an apprentice or student in a country where violin making has a long tradition and immersing oneself in the classical roots of music, Ong Kiat Wee started his training under the mentorship of Maestro Giorgio Scolari at the international acclaimed International School of Violin Making, also known as the Stradivarius School of Cremona, Italy. Besides that, Kiat Wee is also under apprenticeship. Of Massimo Negroni, who is a luthier in Cremona, Italy. He is now the first professional luthier in Malaysia. Besides his passion for craft making string instruments, Ken Wei is also a musician. He completed his studies at a local college under Juan Pablo, being also personally mentored by Fu Yin Hong and Joseph Presser. Double bassist of the Malaysian Philharmonic Orchestra, Ken Wee plays the double bass professionally, performing repertoires ranging from contemporary music to jazz. Furthermore, he also plays the double bass in classical orchestras such as the Malaysian Philharmonic Youth Orchestra, National Symphony Orchestra, and the Orchestra Radio Television Malaysia. Ken Wee crafts. His instruments, based on the traditional classical Cremonese style, followed by his unique reddish amber colored varnishing, he aims to promote the legendary art of Italian violin making into the Malaysian and Singapore market. As a further incentive, Kelly realized that violin making would distract him from the monotony of regurgitating on end the notes on a music sheet. Practicing to be a professional musician can drive you crazy," he says with a smile. So let us welcome Ong Kat Wee. Hi, hi everyone. Hello, hello. Hi, good evening. Hello, nice hi, to yeah, have thanks. you with us today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My honors, and then thanks for invite, and then I, yeah, I miss I miss Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we will start with the interview. So, can you tell us? Uh, something about the video that we have watched just now, especially for um, English okay. uh, speaking audience. No problem. Basically, the that's the uh, is a TEDx, and then in uh, is a first in Malaysia is a 
proposed by my Mandarin language. So uh, I'm quite uh, honest that they are invite me to try to bring out my career because uh, during that time, I think I'm the only one is uh, more on the art. The rest is on the science and uh, those like very uh, high achievement for, for in, the, in the career. So, uh, can you hear me clearly? Yes, yes, yes. Is it? Okay, yes. okay, yes. Then uh, just now what I'm trying to say is uh, because uh, when I come back to Malaysia, but at first I never thought I can be the um, full-time luthier. Luthier means it's a violin maker, uh, uh, instrument maker. So I never thought I want I can be the full time. So because in, when I come back, Malaysia is still um, lack of uh, services like this kind of a concept. So they just like we just only have a normal normal shop in the, in 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 the whole Malaysia. So yes, yes. what I'm doing is uh, I'm when I came back, I still back to play music. I need some survive money. So I still go back to play some, we call it gigs, uh, performance, and then, then uh, anything else, uh, performance. Even I do some entertainment, so with like event, I helping my friend to, to, to set up, even set up the, 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 the show. Oh, and wow. then slowly, yes, slowly the, the, the musician friends has come to visit me. Okay, give me an opportunity, like, oh, can you help me to start service my instruments? And then some, they want to buy an Italian violin, then they ask me to get a connection from Italy. So slowly then I really become a, from the 20% and up slowly become a full-time really in this line. And, and then in, the, in, in this, uh, in the, that presentation of the TEDx, so basically I, I just summarize the five and five years of uh, my working experience. I noticed, right, um, many musicians is like, uh, we lack of knowledge how to take care of the instrument. That's first. Second is like, uh, the, uh, because of in our, our ear, like if, if, if you are a musician, our ear, we have a different kind of a level. Maybe I can hear more quality sound and then, but uh, my, my partner is, a, or my friend, that partner is a less, less um, idea of the sound. So we can, I can see, uh, I can see our 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 level is not the same. Even we are in the one section, but our player is not the same. So I'm quite thankful. The I met many good uh, players. With they are willing to tell me their feeling, and then the uh, they they really like spend time with me, like how how to fine tune the instruments. That's a one thing. And then the uh, second point, what I'm trying to explain is uh, because I noticed the sound a bit, uh, for me, if I want to play a good music, basically it's only three points for, for me, for the basic. First, you need a very good intonation. And then second is uh, you need a good in, uh, rhythm. Then yes, the yes. third thing, I think we lack of this idea is uh, we need a good sound. So maybe we don't train as that. Normally we just train as a technique and then we train as a uh, the, the, the good, good musician, mm -hmm. musician shape. Like they oh, really yes, tell, yes. Uh, taught you this like uh, history you need to study. But one thing we are missing is like, we are not really um, to, to, to learn about the sound. So that's why we are, besides we, as a luthier, I, we service instrument, we restore instrument, we make instrument and then, at the same time, we need to tell the customer. Sometimes even the good player, so they will they will also question me, like they will question me, they will question themselves, like, uh, is that uh this is sound is right, it's right. So they always test the instrument, they need a third, third person or fourth person or many person there, like they listen together, they are sharing, they try to explain uh to uh, what I hear, what you don't hear, like that. So then in um that's the that's the whole average the whole uh, idea on the on, on, on the speech and then uh, anything is uh, the next one is like I beside I thank the I thanks the, the the musician they give me an opportunity I also thanks the collector I have some they they are holding Malaysian they are holding a very very good instrument like more than a million dollars instrument 
they they willing to trust you to to pass you the instrument, let you do services, and then they will come back every three months to 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 play for you, and then oh you see the sound is improved, and then oh you did this one, and then you did my bridge, then and the sound will become like uh the A, then the after I do adjustment three months, it came back again. Oh the sound become a B like that. They 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 will they will happy to share with you. So that is also a very good opportunity, and I'm thankful I have the chances to 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 meet these kind of people. Yeah, and then I uh, my last point is in the in the in the in the, in the presentation is like I hope this is what we learn. What I learn, I I hope to share with uh, others like like the, those kids and uh, those uh, students. They are just started. That's the my main point. Okay, so just now you mentioned about like uh, people having different ears and then, mm -hmm. and then about fine tuning. So when your friends come to you about fine tuning, were they like asking you to fine tune the instrument or like they, they think like this sound isn't really right so they want you to fine tune it? Both actually, it's both. Okay, very simple idea, what is called fine tuning? Assume everything is correct. The, all the measurement, all the height, all the all, all sound, playability, everything is good. Only one question. The back, like let's say, uh, the sound come out is a red color, like my wall is a red color. But he, he prefer a dark red. <laughs> but basically, the people, how dark you want, like you need a 20% more or you need a 10% more, basically can buy a calculation. Yes. So yeah. Like, we, yeah, so that's why we need to understand like because of sound we only can describe. We yeah. can't like uh, use the, the of course now we can use a computer to test like what I what which frequency but we need to add more. So but basically before what how we start, we are we are like that, we are guessing from guessing to study more, then we try to understand, then we sit down and we have to understand each other, player and me and player and instruments this is how how we grow up together since uh, 10 years ago until today wow 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 so uh you mentioned about testing like with like computers was it like actually through a mic and then it shows a graph or equalizer visual something basically how, yes how uh, it's an equalizer Okay, we we'll make it simple. Like uh, our human ear is from like twenty hertz to twenty kilohertz, right? Basically, yeah. So uh, like let's say I have a player. Some player they just tell me, okay, I might need a mid sound, other not mid sound. I want a more mellow. Then I have to assume like he trying to tell me is like he want to add the frequency at the sound from one k to one point two k. That hurts. This is yes. what uh, I we can. We can hear the reason because uh, when I was in the school or uh, college when study music, um, we have a we 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 have a subject is called a technology. Uh, I can't remember the full name. Basically, it's like uh, it's a it's a it's a it's a we need to learn what is a MIDI and then what is a computer sound, what is a white noise, and then white noise you add to 20, 20 dB and forty dB and I think <laughs> and minus twenty dB. This is how we train before. So now it's uh, what I'm doing. I make the instrument and uh, I adjust the fine tune. The sound is uh, basically is based on the technology and the acoustic lead to 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 fine tune it. Okay, okay, okay. We'll move on uh, with the questions first, and then uh, because no I also have some questions, and then I'll ask during the Q and A session. <laughs> okay, so um, what instrument are you playing as a musician? Uh, double bass. Um, basically, I love guitar, <laughs> but I also need double. I also love double bass. Uh -huh. I actually, I my favorite is rock music. It's still rock oh. music, and then if jazz, wow. I, I I prefer those uh, big band swing. Mm. I'm very old yeah. school. Oh, wow. Uh, then I'm an old um, school player. Then, but you uh, often you play mm -hmm. more um, double bass, right? Double bass. Since I graduate from the since I graduate from the school, double bass. 
Wow, then how often do you play guitar? Like around maybe once or two? <laughs> not <laughs> really. Often. Now only the play guitar is uh, for fun only, just but not not really practice. Uh, sometimes I play with my daughter, it's uh, just for fun. She play violin, she try to practice with violin, like uh, twinkle twinkle with the star. I play with wow. chords for, for her. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, That's not really I don't, not really have time to practice. Uh, I just play for fun. Okay, okay. Okay, so what's the turning point that made you decide to become a luthier or a violin maker? Uh, I don't have, okay, basically I'm from a Chinese school. In Mandarin and Cantonese is my mother tongue language. Uh, I'm from Chinese school. I learned something is like uh, we need to contribute, like sometimes like uh, share, sharing the kind yeah. of idea. So I, uh, I look back from since I from I started to learn double bass, and until I study in Italy, I'm quite lucky. My teacher is charged me a very low fees, and then I was study in Italy. I uh, I learn what I'm what I paid the school fees is for free. Basically, it's a pay by the Italian government. Then, yeah, and then I uh, I after I came back, I have you know I lack of knowledge and then. Uh, I, I face how to facing the how to deal with the customer with no idea at all. Uh, and then I that time I'm still using Skype. <laughs> I'm trying to Skype my teacher and then ask him a question and then even I email him. So he uh, really helpful. He will keep uh, answer you and then help you to solve the problem. So then I noticed right if you want to improve yourself if you want to grow basically you need to share. You need to learn. What you what they taught you, you need you should you should share it. Then you share more, then you will learn more, then you grow more. So and then I become a full time luthier because I learned this all the knowledge is by free. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. So how should uh, a person further explore after deciding to go violin making? Mm hmm. Uh, good question. Basically, this is a question is uh, after I came back for three years and then my teacher uh, visited me in Italy, well, from Italy to, to Taiwan, Singapore and Malaysia. And uh, the last day before he leaving, um, I, I, I talked to her, I say, I talked to him. So I said, I should go back to Italy to continue my study, to, 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 to study hard more, or I should stay in Malaysia to, to work. Then he asked me how many luthier you have and how in Italy about the market. Then he asked he asked me to stay, and uh, I say if I study more and then I can I have a high higher qualification. But what he answered me is, uh, he he think for our career experience is more important than you are just study. So then I then. Then after he 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 I think I, I think he left I, he left then I continued my work that time I'm still not running a shop I still work from home home base then then the, um, I, I I also make my instrument then what I honestly I will stop making instrument for a few years uh, I just make my uh, every year once the reason is I I met uh, the the collector they showed me their instrument their old instrument. And uh, those like legendary instrument, I noticed the instrument I make is totally cannot beat their sound, the quality. <laughs> so it's like kind of a set, quite sad, you know. <laughs> and I'm trying to do more uh, services and restoration. I'm trying to get and I am I want to understand more about the 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 old old thing and knowledge. Then uh, slowly, slowly, I think I, I now I, I I quite consistent already. I can make a very nice sound, good sound instrument sounding. So maybe I in the future, the next few years, I will back to making more. But before that, the before the four five four five years, I'm more on the services and uh, restoration parts. The reason I want to learn more and and deal more with the instruments. And uh, which is I also learned halfway. So I've been lost, like, kind of a loss. <laughs> so it's just work, work, work. To get more, more job. Yeah. And then the next thing is uh, because in Malaysia, violin, uh, new violin, it's not necessarily the buyer have to 
need to buy from you because the market in the market we have a too many kind of variation to let you choose in the market. Yeah. So that's why yes, I yes. think making is not that necessary that time in, in, in Malaysia time. So services and, and, and restoration is more 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 need in, in Malaysia. So I choose this. How about how about now? Is it is it still the same? Or was uh, no, it, was uh, it? we already make we make uh, we make instrument. I I make I just finished a double bass recently with uh, my partner and uh, we 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 work together. We 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 not so uh, how to say um we we are sharing work like a big instrument. The we we work with a partner. I work with my partner. I work with my assistant. So uh, more people, more hand work faster. Then the cost cheaper. So the cost cheaper then um, Malaysian can afford. This is what we are working now. And of course, I also make by myself alone. We do, yeah. Just the, but the big instrument, we are work together, like two, uh, three person work one instrument. I would make around, one instrument. Around how long will it take to make the double bass? Oh, very long. They're talking <laughs> about like six months, eight months. <laughs> wow. I'm going to finish, going to finish by next week, should be. <laughs> Wow. Uh, we we just we just test drive today. <laughs> test the sound, sound good, <laughs> everything okay. <laughs> yeah. So we have a potential buyer. So that's why we test the sound today. Then we need to share to the buyer. Then and hopefully they, they are interested. They will con they will pay for them, pay the money. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Uh, then every time when you make an instrument, does it still like it's still very satisfying, is it? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> oh, no. I'm, not, I'm not that kind of person to I, I'm more satisfied is I make the I make the players or the musician, the customer happy more than oh. I satisfied to, to to finish a making and then a, a, a product or art piece. Yeah, two different things. Wow. Wow, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Wow. About about um the learning and study process of violin making, should one study abroad or locally? Basically, the uh basically, you honestly speaking, you study locally or it or even abroad or even on YouTube, are the same. <laughs> yeah, if because now technology, everyone can learn. Even my friend, they learn piano under the under the the the, the Italy professor. They learn violin from. Uh, the, the US professor, so all through internet. And then of course, uh, what, what make different, the main point is what make different is the environment. You need to go, you need to go to the place, the, the, that place like a study abroad. Actually it's like, you need to feel their culture. Once you understand their culture, you understand more their language. So you might can make something different, especially. Or maybe, uh, maybe it's more close to what the legendary instruments, because you understand more their their history. Wow. Okay. Okay. Then, then um, does that mean uh, how do I say this? In terms of violin making, yes, the experience is the we say is the most important one. Uh, basically. Okay, very simple. Um, let's say I apply the one string, the very common for the violin, maybe it's a dominant. So I, we have a customer A, B, C, D, E. So I apply for these five customer. They, they have different opinion. Yeah. This one maybe say the sound is brighter, that one is sound or the high more tension. And then this one, oh, the, the dominant sound is warmer. And then the, another customer say, oh, the string is a quite very fast or rusty. Then how? Oh. <laughs> Basically for us, it's are the same. But you have, to you have to deal with this different kind of customer. So it's like a, the end, we become like in Malaysia, I become more like a salesman more than I become a... a, a <laughs> Uh, uh, artist, <laughs> artist. But the thing is, if you are, if you point yourself as an artist, you are, the people will come, they won't come to you. They come to you is because they don't know. That's why they come to ask you. So it's just that you are, now you need to help, you want to help them or you without. It's just, yeah. Sometimes I always say, why did this, why this customer ask the, 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 
the, the, the question so stupid. But anyway, we still need to answer them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so because they really yeah. they don't know because we lack of it, uh, the, 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 the knowledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we need to educate them in a way. Yeah. So because uh, what we're thinking is not now, we are thinking is the next generation. It's not for us, honestly, because we already almost uh, 30, go to 40. Then it's, uh, it's not our time because we have a new generation. So what we are doing now is for the future, for everyone's future, it's not for just for us. Of course, we need some, we need the money to survive. So yeah, but the main point is uh, you do this one, you, you need some, uh, your, my, my move motivation beside to, to, to earn the money, <laughs> the, the money and I have a good life. It's like I can, what I can contribute to the, this society. That's the, that's the most important. Yes, yes, yes. So what is the, what is the daily life or what is the main job of a luthier? Okay, if I say that, you, you will laugh at me, but I'm trying. <laughs> Basically, every morning when I woke up, I can see many message on my phone and then, or oh, someone will be, uh, they can, they will, they will call you very on time, like 10 o'clock, they know you are already start to work. So they will call you and they will ask you, can we, are you here? Uh, I want to see you, my e string is broke. And then, uh, or I want to test a violin, maybe the sound, uh, I want a better sound violin, but he, what, but he actually don't know what he want. Uh -huh. Then uh, uh, what else, the, the some, uh, some will call you, okay, uh, I introduced by um, ABC, then he say your violin, uh, you sell violin, can I ask what violin are you selling? Then, then you have to explain to them. So if you sell the instrument more than 50,000 or 10,000, not 50,000, just 10,000, then he will ask you, why, do you, why uh, I, can, I can buy a, a 300 ringgit uh, violin from the Lazada, why I want to pay 10,000 for you? And I need to explain. <laughs> it's more like a PR <laughs> and the marketing salesman. I have to keep explain, explain, explain. And then, yeah. So, then because the reason is, okay, the reason is because we have a team now. I have a team. I have a partner. I have the assistant. I, we train people. So my team, yeah, what they are doing is that their work daily is services, uh, basic change string, fine tune the instrument and then make instrument. So this is what they are doing. So they do an internal. So I'm the person now I'm doing the ex outside. I'm face outside. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Every day I minimum, at least I pick uh, 10, 10 calls, 15 calls minimum. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Wait. So, wait, wait, so wait. I can't hear you. Sorry. Hello, hello, hello. What happened on my phone? <laughs> Hey, hold on. Let me check. I'm not sure is it my problem. Wait, wait. Okay, there seems to be some oh, technical sorry. issue. I need help to... It's okay. No sound. Hold on. Hello. Hello, hello. Can you hear me now? Wait. I think I'm mute. Hello, hello. Okay, so... so um, technical issue, wait. <laughs> okay, is it okay now? Okay, um, so um, I'll give uh, uh, a short announcement for, for attendees from Zoom and viewers from YouTube. Uh, if you have any questions, please do type them down in the chat or in the Q&A session, in the Q&A yeah. section. So later, um, Kat we will be able to answer all of you in the, during the Q&A session. So is it okay now? Can you hear me? Okay. Hello, hello. Okay, we're still um, facing some issues. So yes, with us. yes I hear you. Um, can you hear me? I don't know what happened. Just now the Siri suddenly uh, pop up and then I click cancel then then become no sound. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I share my I'm not really using Zoom. <laughs> okay, okay. So uh um about yeah about you doing external stuff. So you mean uh 
you're more on instead of touching the instruments and everything you're more to like no i'm still i'm still working every day i need to work uh, yes but, but I need it's, to work it's, and it's, do marketing uh, i need to work and be a salesman together oh, okay, so, okay, i'm okay. still making i'm still work every day i find tune instrument i need to listen a sound and then i need to do many things uh, wow yeah still still yes so sometimes I work until like uh, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. Boss. Wow. Because okay. at night time, because no one can dis- uh, will disturb me. So after 5 or after 6, sometimes I need like, like 3 hours uh, peaceful period of time so I can work quietly. Wow, okay. Uh, so about like the sound um what would you say about the accessories do you think those can also affect sounds yes uh, basically yes so uh, uh even small tiny things will affect the sound but uh before we go to so detail about the accessory um i think the instrument if you want to make a decent sound or we call a good harmonic good resonant it's a balance basically it's a balance of course, different instruments, they have a different setup. So more or less like one millimeter more or, or, or two millimeter more, but um, it's make different. Then uh, I think that's why I say it's sometimes a balance. Not, not means you put everything expensive, then the sound will be good. So that's the, what we are uh, figure out. Uh, the reason, not recently, this, this, this after so many years experience working. Okay, so um, on to the last question for the interview before the Q&A session. What do you think of JPO and the activities that we are yeah, doing? It's actually right good, now? very interesting. And then I hope I can join them. <laughs> I, can, I, I hope <laughs> I can join you guys. We would love to have you to, no. to share the knowledge and everything. Yeah, you are doing some great stuff actually. But, but for us, we are really no, we, we, we don't have this kind of energy. We already can focus because uh, we, every day we deal with the customer, we already had it. <laughs> yeah. And some more, actually, I, I also, I'm not just running a, a, a making myself, you know, I, because we have a team, then uh, we have, we run a workshop. So that's why we need some, we need to work hard to, because our, 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 our career is uh, make, making, restoration and service. So that's why this is our main point. But, we are doing something interesting recently. I, uh, I just with my teacher, Mr. Fu, Fu Yin Hong, we are, we are setting up a new group. Uh, we play a double bass quartet. Oh, wow. uh, we try, we are aim is uh, play the, become a double bass club like that. So we gather all the basses and then we, um, we, 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 we share we every maybe two weeks or maybe tr- uh, a month or once we gather and then we play some solo or duet, trio or quartet or quintet or quartet, <laughs> whatever, because I think we have 10 members now. Uh, wow. So, so we are, and then we, we, we learn, we, because uh, next thing, I've, I noticed in the music scenes, uh, let's say the orchestra, we, we, we lack of... Uh, the experience to, to, to play or learn the orchestra excerpt. So our, our target is our base member, our, our get So we will learn the excerpt together. So prepare for the orchestra. So next time orchestra just call us, then so the bassist can just go and play. Wow. Or maybe in, in the future you have a show or you have a concert you want to play, you need a bassist. So you, you, uh, you, you let us know early what program you are playing so we can practice the orchestra excerpt and they, then we send the basses there <laughs> then you help wow. JPO. Wow. Yeah. well prepared <laughs> <laughs> well okay so now we'll move on to the Q&A sessions okay. for everyone who's watching please uh, send the questions and before that I'll ask some questions first okay. so about um Harmonics. So, um, how how I'm not sure how how do I ask this in in terms of like com computer generated the equalizer the visual. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. So how how will it look like? Would it like one one of them is much higher and then it slopes down or like they're like yeah, basically kind of this lah. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. And, and then yeah, how do you, yes 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 how yes. how do you tune how do you actually tune them according to like oh I want it to be a, a mellow sound like I mentioned just now and it's a, about around one k or one point two k hertz and then how how do you know what to adjust? Maybe that is a gift and uh, and also uh is a let me uh okay because of the the collector he 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 lent me his instrument. And then with his a uh, very fantastic bow. Actually, his bow is I can tell you the uh, I can't tell you the violin, and then I also cannot tell you the bow. But the bow can share. The bow actually is the satori, and then the violin I can't tell you. So he bring he he passed me his two violin, and then with me almost a week. So I was like at home and play almost uh, eighteen hours per day, and then I try to fine tune. Then then I noticed I just touch the tiny things, then the whole violin will change sound. Then okay, then I start to remember okay with I how how many percent I touch and then the sound will change and uh which which spot I I touch then the sound will change like I can I can very specific uh uh specific of the tone uh, notes even I I know like let's say one note on the D string the the ones one note the F or what they cannot sing I can adjust the 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 F to make it sing yeah this is. We can show details. Of course, of course, not many, not all the instrument can do that. But because of I had a uh the the experience with this this kind of a good instrument, and uh, I noticed they can, they it's it's possible. It's possible. <laughs> yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Make the sound so well. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, and I should and read then, the question first, right? And then, uh, a question, question coming in from. Uh, I'll read the question, so it's okay. So, uh, our first question will be from Datuk Mustafa Fuzanawi. Okay. What is the future Hi, of violin making in Malaysia? Okay, it's a very good uh point. It's a violin making is uh in the future. I think it's a very good um the bright future basically. But one thing is I uh I need Datuk. Maybe I need Datuk help so. Because we need the we need someone to to really talk to the government or maybe the education department like, uh, bring the string instrument or the orchestra uh kind of education into start from the primary school, because I met many children, uh for this come this few years, they actually very talented, and then their lack of uh their lack of the. The chance to play, uh, of course, attend the 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 concert now is uh uh is 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 very difficult. But um, but not means future we cannot we 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 cannot attend. So the the children, we we now we always complain the children like they don't know they they not really want to learn. But actually, we also have uh the responsibility to to teach them or to 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 share with them since the young, since young, uh. So we we lack of player actually. So if we have more player in Malaysia, then a uh, violin making will be will be have a very bright future. And then I'm very happy to see uh we have uh, many makers or many who are going to want to make instrument. No matter they are professional part time or even the just a hobby, it's it's good that uh the art the art of the craft the 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 craft art right to do to. to to share with everyone, that's the that's the good things, and about the about the the next thing is uh I'm sorry to say it's because of our 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 money is um quite weak recently, so that is make the cost higher, so it might it might many people cannot afford for the high end instrument, so uh I still thinking is that. Any way or any possibility, we can make something uh more uh affordable for the children, for the or for the even beginner or intermediate player. So then um uh, to make population, I mean to make more popular for 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 this instrument, violin, cello, viola. Mm. Yeah. 
Dr. Mustafa <laughs> said that I think we must organize international vitamin making festival. In yeah, uh, basically we should we should do that, and then uh, but this one uh, we need a we need a corporate company or or government to support, um, or even the, the the state government to help to support a bit, uh, to to promote the the history. I mean the legendary things because we actually we have a very good. Uh, in, in the market, beside the violin making, we have a very good uh, guitar maker, even the world-class famous guitar maker we have. And then recently, I met many, not recently, I, I, I actually know them for many years. They, they have uh, some um, local guitar or bass guitar maker. They are very famous. <laughs> it's just that Malaysians don't know them. They make and then they sell and then... The, the instrument they bring, the, the, the player, the sessionist they bring for the world tour, they're using their Malaysian instrument. Just that we don't know them. Yeah. Bass guitar as in the in uh, like electric bass. bass, bass. Electric bass. Wow. Uh, yeah, we have a one, my, I have one, I, the person I know is that he just made electric bass. And then it's fantastic wow. sound. Actually, yeah, but I think he's an Italian. <laughs> He used an Italian method to make an electric bass. Wow, wow. Okay, um, on to the next question. Hi, Mr. Ong. May I know how you balance your time in between teaching and playing the double bass and making the string instruments? No, I'm not really playing double bass now. <laughs> since uh, since uh, 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 MCO start, I've not really practiced it. <laughs> yeah. Then I, uh, I do more on the research of uh, how to make violin. <laughs> Uh, that the time and then uh, how to do how to organize uh, uh, our team <laughs> yeah because the time we, we we are not we can't work like full time and now so how to organize the, the work together which are three or four of us so yeah then uh, but now I'm, we are slowly go back to to to, to base because since uh, we already start uh, plan to start the base quartet okay okay what about teaching like what, about what did I, I only have two students now. Uh, I have actually, I, <laughs> I have a stu two students and then um, not teach much because I, I have a friend that teach so well. So now my, my career is more on the violin instrument. So I will do service dealing and uh, sharing section more. So teaching, I, 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 I will keep for my friends. Oh, I actually, I do teach. It's like because of the, my friend, they don't want to teach beginner. So I'm, I help them <laughs> and I teach the beginner. <laughs> okay, and, then, okay. and then my students, they, they really uh, don't mind. I, they, 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 are, they are sitting in my workshop. So I actually making instrument or service other things. So he just play that. So my, my student is uh, stay in my workshop for four hours. Uh, but... Uh, so I, I, I in and out, in and out the classroom and like, oh, sorry, sorry, I have a customer. So then the, my students sit in the room and just practice, practice. And then, yeah. So they don't mind to wait for me, then they can come to class. Wow, okay, okay. So um, the next one from Weipo. As you said, musicians lack of knowledge in instruments. So what would be your advice for musicians buying instruments in this small industry in Malaysia? Okay, uh, that's a different idea of how you choose the instrument. So uh, basically, I if you have a good ear, <laughs> that's a gift. I will choose the, uh, the, the, the full resonant instrument, basically. But if you're not, uh, I, what I'm doing is uh, I, will, I will pick a, a, a light instrument. I don't, I don't pick a heavy instrument. Then how you know what, uh, what, is, what is heavy, what is light? It's very simple. Two hands, just hold two instruments. Then you know which one is lighter. Then second is I will, I will try to feel the neck. I prefer a slim neck. So uh, if you can make a very well neck, slim and uh, comfortable, I believe the rest of the parts from the instrument, the quality should be the same as how you make the neck. Yeah. Then third is like uh, you mean I mean the workmanship. So if you can make the uh, the workmanship, if you can make the neck is slim and comfortable and you feel very nice, then I believe the 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 whole instrument should be quite decent. Then the third point is um uh, color. 
which is you like the color or if you can judge by the the the, the color and then the varnish if a balance or 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 very smooth if he can make the color nice uh, of course you need to like the color yeah so uh the color is nice right basically the workmanship should be okay so if this three point uh if 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 a green light then i think the sound should be not much problem this is how i choose my so because i always tell my customer don't trust your ear <laughs> i even myself i don't trust ear i trust i don't trust my ear I, I always borrow my friend's ear because uh, yeah, you know, some they have a very good ear or I use a computer to test. If I really lost, sometimes I need to use a computer to test, make sure my ear is right. How, how, how should we judge if like, um, the, how do we know if the instrument is more resonant? Uh, that's a good question. It's the same. <laughs> just compare. Let's say you have a five instrument on the table. You just play double stop. I mean, maybe you just play two string GD or DA. You try to feel which one uh, the instruments on your shoulder vibrate more. Yeah, you will. If the instrument is, uh, is vibrate nicely, even the neck, you can feel the vibration. Even the notes you press on the notes on the string, your fingertips can feel the vibration. How about the neck? Why, why the neck? Why not the other parts? Uh, because I don't know how, because I don't, I don't think normal people can judge uh, for see, seeing the, 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 just the violin. Like my customer always say, all the violin are the same, <laughs> just the color different. Yeah, they can't they can't see the difference. I mean the craft art, they cannot see the different. So the the easier way is weight, judge by weight. My okay, that's a personal preference. I myself I prefer lightweight. Oh, okay, okay. Hmm. Okay, and now on to the next question from Dr. Mustafa again. Is there any interest in young people to take up violin making in Malaysia? Uh, yes, do a lot. But one for one thing. Once, uh, because I trying to teach before, uh, we have a short class, even uh, even the two week classes I also arranged before, then I think uh, we are stopped now because I still prefer the person is more like an apprentice. It's like how we learn from Italy. Uh, we stay there for so many years. The first year is like, uh, we do nothing actually. We just drink coffee, chat with teacher, they give you a block, a wood of block, then you just uh, try to make it flat. And then that's it. The whole, this is my whole year. Basically the idea is like, they want to let you feel how they, how they make, how they progress, how, how they make the, the knife sharp. So everything is take time. Yeah, mm -hmm. they don't mind you make, uh, they don't mind you make it, uh, you work slow. They don't mind you work slow, but they want you to make perfect. But before you make perfect, you need a uh, perfect, you need to feel it, right? You need to understand. So that one it will, will take longer time. So that's why then I, I finally I understand why my teacher asked me to go back to Italy, stay in Malaysia, learn more. Because uh, I have more chance to, to, to deal with a customer, directly deal with the players. Then you will know what the players want. Mm -hmm. If I go wow. back to Italy, I only learn making. But yeah. after one thing is very easy. But after you make the instrument, yeah, they might it's a it's an instrument. They also is an art piece. But the end, you need to pass to the musician. The musician play, then they feel the they, they can feel your the 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 the, the resonance, the, the feeling, everything. Then they only can make a good sound instrument, the good sound, good music. So it's like related everything. So what, what I'm doing is I just the 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 the, the early stage. Make everything resonant, sound good, to, to touch the musician, they can play a better sound. Once they can play a better sound, they can make a better music, I believe. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, um, we are coming to the end of this interview. On behalf of JPO, we would like to thank you, Kelly, for dedicating your time and energy into this interview despite the pandemic that is happening right now. And we, will, and we will also like to thank everyone who has attended and supported this program. You guys have been great. I hope you guys got the answers you wanted.
please check for the link at our GPO Facebook page and stay tuned. As for anyone who's interested to share any of our program with your family and friends, it will be on our JPO, uh, it will be on our Facebook page, JPO Philharmonic Orchestra. And now I will lead the prayer to end tonight's program. So please pray in whatever faith you believe in for the COVID-19. Dear Lord, we lift to you our concern for people who are more likely than others to become severely ill from COVID-19, the elderly and people with chronic health conditions. Protect them from harm and be their comfort in this time of uncertainty and for many, preventive isolation from loved ones. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. And that'll be all from us. Thank you, everyone, and see you next time.